Welcome back Bridgewater College Teacher Education Program students. Again today we're building our WordPress site and today we're going to focus on three items. One is the idea of a menu. The second is an idea of adding hot links within our posts or on our pages. And finally we're going to be careful about how we allow people to make replies to us. We're going to learn how to set our preferences to where not just anyone can make a reply that the world would see on our blog. So I've added two new pages. You might notice that I've added an EDUC 370 syllabus page and an about me page. If I click on the EDUC 370 syllabus page, all I did was I copied the syllabus right out of Microsoft Word, which I had done uh, for our class and pasted it in here because remember that this site is going to be visible to others outside of our class and so at least now I have a way of showing prospective students what they're getting into when they take EDUC 370. I also added an about me section and that's just a personal section of some information about me. Now I did both of these by simply adding a new page. I've already signed in to WordPress today and I've already logged in as the administrator of this page so I'm going to go straight to the dashboard and again the way I did the new pages was I came down to pages and said add new and then once I added new I published those pages. Let's start today by looking at the idea of putting a hot link in a post or a page. So I'm going to look at my About Me page. I'm going to edit that page. And I notice that in the first sentence I have here, I am currently an instructor in the teacher education program at Bridgewater College. I would like to make Bridgewater College a hot link so that if a person clicks on it, they go to the Bridgewater College website. Right now it's not a hot link, unlike Rockingham County Schools, which is, and, and the other hot links that you see here. And all you do to make a text into a hot link is you highlight the text, which I'm highlighting Bridgewater College. And I'm going to go up to this icon right here, which says to insert or edit a link. So I click on it. It then expects me to type in or paste in, if I've copied, the website address. And for us, for Bridgewater, it's just www.bridgewater.edu. And I'll leave the title blank and I'll add the link. And now Bridgewater College is hot. Now, anytime you make a change, you must go over to the blue button and update. So let's update. Let's view the page. We'll test the link. Here it is, Bridgewater College. So if I click on it, sure enough, it's taking us to the Bridgewater College website, which is what I wanted it to do. So as a review, the way we did this is that we highlighted Bridgewater College, we went up to the link button right here and added the URL or the address for that. Uh, you might also notice that on my edit screen here, I've got a lot of options and that's because I have enabled what uh, is humorously called the kitchen sink. Remember that's what this button right here does, is it shows or hides the kitchen sink. Uh, and, and you can either show or hide that. This gives you the options of uh, changing font sizes and, and doing various other things. Okay, I think I'm happy with the way this looks. We'll update. I've added a hot link. You're going to come back to this hot link idea in the next screencast when we're actually going to add links on our main page. And we'll learn to do that uh, with something called a widget in the next screencast. But let's go back and look at our site for a minute. I'm going to visit the site. And the one thing I don't like is that the home screen does come up first, but I would like for what's happening to be second. I'd like to move this about me over to the end. It's the least important of these four. So I'd like for the order to be home, then what's happening, then syllabus, then about me. So I need to change the menu in some way. Uh, how do we do that? Well, it turns out that there's an option under appearance called menus that will enable you to create a custom menu. Now some templates, some themes allow you to have multiple 
uh, menus. You might have one across the top of your page and another one down the side of your page. This particular template only allows for one custom menu and I'm just going to call it EDUC 370 menu. I'm just giving it a name. So I'll click on create menu. Now it asks me to add the items that I want. Here are the pages that I want to add, so I'm going to click on all four of these. They're, no, they're not in the order I want yet, but I do want to add them to the menu, so I'll add them. Now, to get them in the right order, all I'm going to do is to drag. I want Welcome to be first, so we'll put it first. I want About Me to be last, so I'll put it last. I want What's Happening to be second, so I'll put it second. Okay, now I've got the four menu items in the order that I want them in, so I'll save that menu. Also, over here at the side, my theme allows me to indicate what the primary menu should be, and that's the one across the top of the page. Well, I want it to be this new menu that I just developed, so I'll save it. Let's go back now and look and see how our site looks. We'll go to the top of the page and say Visit Site. And indeed, now my menu items are in the very order I wanted. My welcome page is first, my blog or posting page is second, and oh, you might notice I've added an, a new entry here. This is a, a post that I made last night. And then here's the syllabus, and finally that About Me section is over there. All of this we were able to do by creating our own custom menu. The third and final thing we're going to do in this screencast is to notice that the public can leave replies here. But I want to be very careful with this. I want to make sure that before a reply shows up on my website, I've had a chance to review it. Because it might be garbage, it might be spam, uh, it might be offensive, and I don't want that to accidentally show up on my site without me having first approved it. So the way we control that is under settings discussion so I'm clicking on settings discussion now this is a box that I think you definitely want to check before a comment appears on your page an administrator that you must always approve the comment and so what will happen if somebody makes a comment it will not show up until we've checked that it's okay we'll know that someone has posted a comment because it's going to email us and send us a note that someone has posted a comment to our site. We then come into our dashboard, take a look at the comment, and decide if this is something we want posted or not. And if we approve it, it, it gets posted. If we uh, do not, certainly the public never sees it. So I think that's very important that you check that box under discussion settings. Okay, that's all we're going to do for this screencast. In the next screencast, what we're going to learn to do is to manage this right hand side of our page and not just this page but every page by controlling some of these items which are called widgets see you then